So good morning. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you know. I'm sure uh, the last thing you want to hear in a keynote is uh, more discussion about big data. And uh, you know, when I saw that, uh, <laughs> it really hit home. <laughs> so, but seriously, you wouldn't be here uh, unless you know you were at a critical point in your big data journey. And uh, you know, the actions you take today to set the foundations really kind of establish what you can really build tomorrow. You know, they are critical on, it's very critical what you said today because it controls how well you compete, how profitable you are, your agility, and all of your capability in the future, right? The architecture that you lay down controls how capable you are in the future, right? But where to begin? Uh, how do we know where to start? Well, luckily for all of us, there's this one company that's, uh, you know, been in the forefront of big data technology and is well ahead of all of us. Uh, a company that can give us some ideas about, you know, what's, what lies ahead with big data, right? This company, of course, is Google. And... Uh, Google, with their vast and varied infrastructure, uh, can really provide us a glimpse into the future of where computing is going. When I was at Google, uh, I had the privilege of working with such uh, technology. And uh, so, when we, so before we begin, you know, it makes sense to pause, take a moment, and consider what would Google do. So Google started as a search engine, and now they went on to dominate it, right? But indexing the web was mostly a batch process then. Then they invented Gmail, which uh, all of us know is one of the largest email systems in the world. And of course, that forced them to go from batch to a little bit more real time. Then they invented Android. Android powers 85% of all the smartphones and tablets in the world today. With Android, you get Google Now, which is a personal assistant that combines all the data in the cell phone with your location, with your calendar, with the weather, and everything, and gives you real-time recommendations. Google is now going even further with self-driving cars. A self-driving car has about 600 sensors, some of which are being sampled at about 4,000 times a second. Right? That's 2.4 million data points every second. And the car self-adjusts while processing and analyzing data arriving at this speed. Right? So these are the kinds of real-time analytics and adjustments that's required for the Internet of Things. Right? So, and it all begins when you set the foundations correctly. So what are the lessons we can take away from this, right? Well, lesson number one, you've got to get the file system right so you can hold everything. Why is this important? Well, more data beats complex algorithms. This is something that Google has demonstrated over and over again. The companies that can process the most data will have an advantage over everybody else in the future. And here are three examples that are using data to their advantage. Millennial Media is the largest mobile ad platform in the United States. They have about 32% of the mobile ad market. They process four terabytes of fresh data that they combine with the petabytes of data that they have to form a single image of the mobile user, whether he's coming in from the web, the cell phone, the tablet, or whatever. Zions Bank a very interesting bank in the West, combines data from their cameras, their ATMs, uh, their web, mobile, to fo form a 360 of their customers. And the Climate Corporation is an insurance company that provides insurance to farmers. They are able to correlate trillions of data points to predict weather in a two kilometer by two kilometer square anywhere in the United States. And of course, all of them are running Hadoop on MapR. 
Well, lesson number two. You gotta get the database system right so you can index everything. Why? Well, real time access means you need a database, right? You need a database that can hold semi-structured data, a database that can do online and analytics work in the same place. You don't have time to ETL or transform the data to somewhere else. There's too much data, and it's arriving too fast. And of course, here are three companies, which are Mapper customers, <laughs> uh, that are using uh, the database, right? So Cisco has placed sensors in their firewalls all over the world, and they process data at about a million events a second to secure threats from across the world. NTT Solutionary, another security company that processes packets online, has replaced their Oracle with MapRDB. TransUnion, one of the largest credit agencies in the world, analyzes data from countless of sources and does this in real time to provide credit scores instantly. All of them take advantage of MapRDB's unmatched speed. MapRDB can process 25 million data points per second per server. Lesson number three, you got to get the query system right so you can find everything. I'm very excited about the Apache Drill project. It's for the first time you're getting the full power of ANSI SQL on Hadoop data natively. It's for the first time you can query semi-structured data. It's for the first time the query system can handle schema changes on the fly. There's no concept of a corrupt record anymore. So last Monday, we announced uh, an initiative to combine even more data sources. And so uh, we announced the integration of Apache Drill with Apache Spark. This combination allows you to create even more interesting data pipelines and brings the world of ad hoc queries to the Spark platform. To bring this all together, I just want to walk through an example we partnered with a large automotive company. The car transmits all its sensor data to a MAPR cluster. When the car fills up and leaves home, the cluster senses that automatically and turns the heat off in the house. When the car approaches work, but it's still a few miles away, the cluster activates thermostats at work so that it's warm and toasty there when the car arrives. So talking about the three lessons we talked about, now to make it easy for you to get the database system right, the file system right, and the query engine right, we're announcing that MapRDB, the top-ranked NoSQL database, is now included in our community edition. You can now develop and deploy MapRDB without limits and take advantage of its ultra-high performance and its super reliability for free. But wait, there's one more thing. To let you take a glimpse into the future, we are giving away a few Google Glasses. So stop by our booth, take a look at MapRDB, and you might just win one of these. Thank you. <laughs>